Hi friends, in this tutorial we are going to discuss about the functions of proteins in detail, which is the most diverse biomolecule inside the cell. The options are of course the biomolecules like nucleic acids, DNA and RNA, then carbohydrates, lipids and proteins. Undoubtedly proteins are the most diverse molecule with versatile functions that is having function all throughout the body, all throughout the cells. First of all, let us discuss about something about the protein. Proteins are biomolecules which are made up of amino acids joined by peptide bonds. And in this picture you can see these beads represent the amino acids and that is joined by peptide bond. An amino acid consists of a central carbon, a hydrogen atom, an amino group and a carboxyl group and this is the side chain and this may vary between amino acid and two amino acids are joined by peptide bond. With the removal of water you can see right here this carboxyl group of first amino acid joined with the amino group of the second amino acid resulting in the formation of C double bond O NH bond which is called as the peptide bond. Now moving into the details of protein function the most important activity of proteins inside the cell is the enzymatic activity. They are just like workforce inside the cell with thousands of enzymes every time inside the cell continuously working. Actually enzymes are biological catalysts that speed up the biological reactions by lowering activation energy without undergoing any change. And they speed up the chemical reaction and they are in all biological activities. Examples like protease, amylase, catalase, lipase, etc. that are involved in many functions like protein degradation, starch degradation, etc. Proteins are structural proteins. There are structural proteins like collagen. Collagen is the most abundant structural protein in animals. Then some other examples like in nails, hair, feather, etc. The protein present is called as a keratin. Then fibroin is the protein that is very tough that is present in spider webs. Then resilin is another protein that is in the wing hinges of some insects. Then the third function is uh, proteins functions as carriers. Especially this is the structure of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin that carries uh, carries oxygen to different tissues, then myoglobin is another protein, then blood plasma contains lipoproteins which carry lipids from liver to other organs, then ceruloplasmin is another transport protein that is involved in transport of copper in the blood, and there are many transmembrane channels or transmembrane proteins through which specific molecules are transported across the membrane. And the fourth important function of protein, they are function as storage proteins. Ovalbumin in egg white, casein is a milk protein, then ferritin that is a stores is a protein that is present in bacteria, and this is the structure of ovalbumin. And the fifth function, it, it is involved in locomotion or involved in organs of movement. And this is the structure of tubulin. You can see this is a fluorescent structure, immunofluorescent structure, contractile or motor proteins. It's also called as motor proteins. Actin and myosin we are familiar with that is present in, involved in muscle movements. Then tubulin that is in microtubule that is responsible for the movement of chromosomes during mitosis and meiosis. And these are all proteins that is actively involved in locomotion. Then there are defense proteins. As you all know, the antibodies, the major defense system inside, the defense molecule inside the body. And this is, you can see this is a bacterium and uh, these antibodies can specifically bind to the bacterium, maybe either neutralizing it, uh, anyway, uh, preventing it from getting attacked by that particular bacterium or any other pathogen. They are involved in immune response. Fibrinogen and thrombin, they are blood clotting proteins that prevents loss of blood upon injury. Then there are certain regulatory proteins and this is the structure of insulin and many proteins are involved in signal transduction. Proteins, peptide hormones are there. Apart from peptide hormones, there are lipid hormones and that regulates many cellular and physiological activities. Insulin is of course a familiar one that regulates sugar metabolism. Then gene pro G proteins that is involved in signal transduction pathway just act as secondary messengers. And there are certain toxic proteins that are also involved in specific defense. This is a ricin, a protein that is present in resinous community plant. The function is defense. Snake venom, bacterial toxins, plant proteins like, like ricins, these are all proteins that is involved in specific defense 
imparting that particular organism with an advantage over its predators. Thus, with amazing diversity in functions, proteins are the most diverse biomolecule in a cell and it is doing all the activities inside the cell working harmoniously to make us alive. If you find this video useful, please share and like. Thank you so much for watching. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.